cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa. I'm going to show how to do how to stir fry the Thai style uh, stir fry kangkong. Okay, so these are the ingredients. I have some kangkong here. Okay, uh, chop into a, a shorten it, yeah, into uh, something like this. <coughs> then you will need some big uh, fresh big chili. You can use chili powder if you want. This is a very ingredient. The fermented uh, soya bean. Okay, okay. This one is actually in Thai. They actually use the fresh garlic. I'm lazy today. Plus, I want to clear off uh, my food, my bottle of the garlic oil. So these are the garlic oil. Uh, in Thai, they actually use the fresh garlic. Because I actually made one whole new uh, bottle of uh, garlic oil yesterday. You have some fish sauce and oyster sauce. Okay, so these are the ingredients for the Thai style stir fry kang gong. We'll come back shortly to stir fry. Alright, now let's start stir frying our kang gong. Morning glory. Okay, you can toss in our garlic oil. Be careful, don't pull high heat right now because the garlic, if I'm using garlic oil here, all this garlic can get burnt easily. Okay. Our fermented beans, yeah? Fermented soya bean. Our chili. Give it a few stir. Mmm, immediately the fr fragrance coming up, especially from my garlic oil. And also I can smell the fermented bean as well. Okay, so now you can actually toss in your kangkong, yeah, the morning glory here. This is one of my most favorite veggie. Well, the better way is actually if you can separate uh, the stem from the veg uh, veggie, the leaf, then you can actually stir fry the stem first. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's already mixed together, so it doesn't matter. There's always an ideal situation, but inside everyone's kitchen is never, it's never that ideal, isn't it? Don't you agree with me? Okay. Uh, I'm going to toss in a little bit of uh, hot water here or you can use stock if you have Give it some stir fry Give it a few toss here Very fragrant, very very fragrant This is the time where you can actually Add in some, uh, this is oyster sauce. About one tablespoon and some fish sauce. Yeah, not too much. Maybe one teaspoon or so. Slightly pinch of salt and a bit of sugar. You know, in, in Thailand, there are some restaurants cook this dish using a very hot fire and they actually cook this dish within 10 seconds because their fire is so strong that it actually almost exploded. Yeah, the fire actually exploded from the wok. So it took only 10 seconds, stir frying. Very interesting to see the show. I've never seen it personally, but I've seen it through uh, YouTube. Uh, I think you can find it in uh, the Chinatown, uh, Bangkok, Yawarat area. It's very interesting. Alright, almost done. Okay, you don't want to cook so long because we still want to taste the crispiness 
from the stem ya. Alright, it's done. Get off the fryer. Put it onto my plate. Okay, there you go. If you like my, this is my stir fry Kang Kong Thai style. If you like my video, do share my video out to your Facebook, to your friends. Um, uh, come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click both the like and following button. Go to Cooking Appa uh, YouTube channel and watch all my video there. And uh, subscribe to Appa's video uh, channel. And uh, follow Appa on Instagram. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye.